Hey everybody, this is TJR. The Who will be releasing a new album entitled simply Who on November 22nd. This is going to be their first album in 13 years and they have released an advanced single. It's entitled Ball and Chain. I'm going to discuss my reaction to the song, but first, if you like what I'm doing and you want to see more videos like this, please click like, click subscribe, and smash the bell notifications icon so you can know when I release new videos. Okay, let's get right to it. I remember picking up Endless Wire back in the day, and it's been a long time since I've listened to it. I remember thinking it's pretty good. There were a couple tracks that stood out for me, such as Man in a Purple Dress, We Got a Hit, Mike Post Theme, but there was nothing there that really, like, I think made me think, wow, greatness, you know, just, you know, pretty good, not bad, you know? And I don't know, maybe I need to re-listen to it again. Maybe I'll hear it with different ears, uh, perhaps something uh, that I will do in the near future. And I think that my feelings about their last album go a long way in explaining my reaction to Ball and Chain. This new song is just so alive sounding. There's just so much passion in the performance. At its core, Ball and Chain is a swamp blues rocker, but the performance feels so inspired and there's an excitement that I didn't feel when I listened to this album. The opening piano riff might remind some fans of the synthesizer opening from Bob O'Reilly. And this was actually a trick that Townsend employed on the opening track of Endless Wire. And on that album, it just felt like a trick. Here, it feels genuine and real. There is also so much audio color incorporated into the arrangement of the song. The instrumentation feels like a young Pete Townsend still thrilled to explore different sound textures. During the 70s, the synthesizer was a new thing. And Pete Townsend was one of those musicians, a guitarist who took to it and who experimented with it. And it, there's an excitement to that when a musician is experimenting with soundscapes. And I feel a similar excitement with this track. Yes, you can hear the age in Roger Daltrey's voice, but at least in this track, he's making it work and he's singing with passion which can make up a lot for lost vocal range. I'll be honest, when I first heard that The Who was going to release a new album, I was kind of meh about it. But after hearing this track, I am very hopeful. In a recent interview for the album, Pete Townsend has stated that the album will consist of dark ballads, heavy rock stuff, experimental electronica, sampled stuff, and Whoish tunes that begin with a guitar that goes yang-a-dang. And personally, I think we could all do with a little more yang dang in our lives. This is TJR. Have you listened to this new track? What do you think? Does this new track excite you? Does it make you excited for the new album? What did you think of the previous album, Endless Wire? Were you excited about it or were you kind of just mm, pretty good the way I was? Please share your thoughts in the comments. I'm looking forward to hearing what you all have to say. If you want to help me make more videos, please consider going to my Patreon page and just donating a couple dollars, it makes a huge difference. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.